Matter to Jen here. <laughs> But what's interesting is anytime we talk about bands and how comes they're only acting now and they don't act when it comes to issues pertaining other human rights. Yeah, why now mate? Well, follow the money. Yes, follow the money. This is a bit of a dirty game that's being played at the moment. Let's look at Facebook first. There's somebody called Mark Smith, one of the directors at Facebook. <laughs> but this guy was a NATO advisor to the deputy commander. He's in bed with NATO mate, which is again for those of you that still don't know, NATO are countries that are under the influence of America. To put it simply. Next we move on to TikTok. As you guys know the White House invited a bunch of TikTokers round to uh, <laughs> I guess hire them to spread their own propaganda. But what we're interested in is Greg Anderson. This guy currently is a manager at TikTok but he used to be psychological operations for NATO. You cannot make this stuff up. Then we move on to Chris Roberts, another director at TikTok, who used to be former senior director of technology policy at the Albright Stonebridge Group. And this firm was founded by a former US Secretary of State. Oh my good lord. Let's not forget Ben Render, director at Google, who also worked at NATO. Then we move on to the Board of Deputies group. They have, and I quote, close working relationship with the Israeli Embassy and links with the Ministry of Strategic Affairs and the IDF. And they are the funders of Keir Starmer, the current leader of the Labour Party, and of course the Conservative Party. They're actually the full name is Board of Deputies of British Jews. So these guys, again, where are they getting their funding from? Are the British Board of Deputies lobbying government ministers on this, yes. that and the other? Yes. One of their funders is the Trevor Chin Charitable Trust. We know that Trevor Chin is a key Israel lobbyist in this country and one of the major figures behind Israel lobby group BICOM. Trevor Chin also funds Keir Starmer. In addition to funding the Board of Deputies, he also funds the Jerusalem Foundation and the JNF. Both of these organizations build settlements. We found another organization by the name of the Kat Atkin Puss Willow Foundation. It also funds the Board of Deputies. But who else does the Kat Atkin Puss Willow Foundation fund? It also funds the Jerusalem Foundation, the Builder of Settlements, and the Conservative Foundation, which is the instrument through which the Conservative Party in this country is funded. In addition to that, the Kat Atkin Puss Willow Foundation funded the Quilliam Foundation, the now defunct and ultimately discredited organization which pushed mythology about Muslims in this country. Like RUSI, Atlantic Council, Center for Security Policy, which gave us the Muslim ban, the Lexington Institute Security and Defense Agenda, which is now known as Friends of Europe, Reform, a neoliberal think tank, the Center for New American Security, the Center for Strategic and International Studies, the Council of Foreign Relations, the Middle East Institute, and as I mentioned, the Brookings Institution. Okay, now that we know that all of these groups are linked with each other, that's why they're backing each other. Here you can see the US has been after Ukraine for quite some time. CIA documents that just recently have been declassified show strong ties between US intelligence and Ukrainian nationalists since 1946. What? Now if that's not all, here you can see US contractors wanting to create a private army. And this Eric Prince, the leader of Blackwater, is the same Eric Prince that was dealing in Iraq and Afghanistan. 